Finance Minister Arun Jaitley launches SBI Foundation, the CSR initiative of the bank. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis inaugurates housing scheme for women, BD workers in Solhapur. And the Parsi community across the state celebrates Navroz with great fervor and joy. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I am Mamta Bhatt. Let's see the news in detail. State Bank of India today launched SBI Foundation, which will be the implementing agency for corporate social responsibility, that is CSR activities of the lender. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley unveiled the logo and website of the SBI Foundation. The foundation will promote, encourage, develop causes related to education, environment, women empowerment, children welfare and manage all the CSR activities of the SBI group. Appreciating the initiative, Finance Minister said that SBI is very active in social sector. He also recognized bank as trendsetter. Despite systematic challenges faced by SBI being public organization, it is performing well and is setting trends and implementing social schemes. Minister of State for Finance, Jayat Sinha, and Hashmuk Adai, Secretary, Department of Financial Services, were also present on the occasion. I have not the least doubt that almost in every socio-economic initiative that the government has taken, whether it was the Janadhan program recently launched by the Prime Minister last year, or it was the social sector insurance schemes, it was the public sector banks which did a commendable job and the State Bank of India was virtually the market leader even in those spheres. Finance Minister also launched SBI's mobile wallet app called as SBI Buddy in collaboration with Accenture and MasterCard. The service has been made available to existing as well as the non-SBI customers. The mobile wallet app can be used to send money to new and registered customers, book for movies, flights and hotels as well as for shopping. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and Minister of State Independent Charge for Labor and Employment Bandaru Dattatray today inaugurated Minakshi Taisane BD Workers Housing Scheme at Kumbhari in South Solapur. The scheme will benefit 1600 women BD workers. Speaking at an event, Chief Minister said that state is marching in direction of realizing Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream of housing for all true. He further said that state will also support such schemes for housing for poor and would take all necessary steps for the same. Chief Minister also appreciated the quality of work done for this housing scheme and planted a tree in the premises. The Parsi community today celebrated Navroz, commonly known as the Parsi New Year, with great fervor. The New Year is celebrated a day after Pateti, which marks the last day of the morning period. All the Zoroastrians observe the festival of Navroz by performing all the rituals and rites with full devotions and duty. People from the community were seen visiting the Agyari or fire temple to offer their prayers. They spent the day by visiting friends and relatives and by exchanging good wishes and blessings. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis extended his greeting to the community on the auspicious occasion. Excitement and preparations run high for the flag hoisting ceremony of the three Akhadas in Nashik, which will be held on August 19th at the ongoing Kummela. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, Nashik Guardian Minister Girish Mahajan, along with various other important leaders, will also be present for the host host historic flag hoisting ceremony of the three major Akhadas. BJP President Amit Shah is also expected to be present on the occasion. The flag hoisting ceremony will formally mark the beginning of the Kumbh Mela in Nashik. Government officials are all equipped with the high police security and emergency aid for the historical event. And the father of the Green Revolution and the former Maharashtra Chief Minister Vasant Rao Nayak's death anniversary was observed across the state today. In Vidhan Bhavan, Deputy Speaker Vasant Daukare paid floral tributes to the statue of Vasant Rao Nayak. Vasant Rao Nayak is remembered for his contribution to the land reform as the, as the Revenue and Agriculture Minister of Maharashtra. 
the, industri the industrialization of Maharashtra is the largely the legacy of his progressive industrial policies. Nag till date remembers as the longest serving chief minister of Maharashtra. And NCP has suspended its, its disgraced MLA Ramesh Kadam for, from the party according to the announcement made by the state president Sunil Tatkare at a press conference in Ratnagiri. NCP MLA Ramesh Kadam was arrested yesterday from the Pune by the CID and sent to police custody by Mumbai local court till 25th of August. Kadam is accused of irregularities worth over 150 crores in Maharashtra government run Anabao Sate Development Corporation. Kadam has allegedly transferred over 150 crore funds to the organization headed by him. The money was meant for the welfare of backward communities for whom the corporation was set up. And bringing fashion to the next level, renowned designer Manish Malhotra did a special preview of his upcoming Lakme Fashion Week Winter Festival 2015 show collection in Mumbai. The preview kicked started with the models walking out with new collection. This is the first time Manish Malhotra has come up with the men's collection for the Lakme Fashion Week in association with Philips India. Speaking at an event, Manish said that 2015 is very special year for him as it marks the 25 years as a costume designer and stylist in the movie industries. The offsite of the show will take place at Mehboob studio from the first time on August 26th. In the ambitious scheme of Pradhan Mantri, Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana is helping many in need. This is a story from Sangli district of Maharashtra, which has benefited Patil family. Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, government's ambitious scheme, which offers life insurance cover of 2 lakh rupees for a premium of 330 rupees annually, is benefiting rural areas. This is an example of Sangli district's Shigaon village. Sanjay Nagnath Patil, a farmer, died due to cardiac arrest, but since Sanjay was a holder of Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, his son Swapnil was able to get the amount of 2 lakh rupees from the bank. I was in the state 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 bank. और साधारण दो महीने के बाद मेरे पिताजी का देहांत हो गया और मैंने बैंक में पूछा तो उन्होंने वो जो प्रोसेस बताई वो मैं मैंने पूरी की और उसका मेरे को लाभ यानी कि दो लाख रुपए मेरे को मिल गया इसलिए मैं उस सरकार का आभारी हूँ और मैं सभी लोगों से आह्वान करता हूँ कि उस योजने का लाभ आप भी प्रामाणिक तरीके से ले ले Patil was working at Shirala Milk Organization and had a state bank account where an annual amount of 330 rupees was paid. Son Swapnil contacted the bank and provided necessary documents. Within four days, the amount was credited into the bank account. Patil family is the first family to receive the benefit of Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana in Sangli district. Bureau report, DD News, Mumbai. Well, that's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. Thanks for watching. Namaskar. It's over to Delhi Studios.